Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf, your one and only. How are my adventures doing? I'm back in VR. It only took like, I guess, four to five days of waiting to, just to get the freaking index to come in. But the one thing I can say about the index versus the vibe that I've been using, the index is 10 times better. I haven't had any more tracking issues. I haven't had any of the green screens. I haven't added any of the, you know, random BS that came with the original vibe and I'm happy that I finally upgraded dude these controllers are really nice I can make gestures I can even give you the finger if I wanted to <laughs> but last night as in yesterday I played all kinds of crap I even played this like cool sick um like roguelike I should have dropped that guard brother <laughs> I think it was called Until They Fall. Oh, no, I can actually just look it up here, actually, <laughs> before I just start naming out names. <laughs> uh, yeah, Until You Fall. Yeah, that game is freaking amazing. And I definitely recommend trying it out, especially if you're like hugely into roguelikes. I even played um, Half-Life Alex. Russell, I've been in an accident. I know, I caused it, <laughs> so technically, not an accident. Damn, <laughs> his Wait, fucking leg, bro. <laughs> Fine. Follow the drone. My man got folded. <laughs> but the thing is, I've never played a Half-Life game, so I don't know much about the backstory. So just in case you guys wonder what's go what's going on, I can't give you any details on that, especially if you haven't played Half-Life either. The closest thing to Half-Life I played is Gary's mod, and that's basically it. But it was fun. It was like a fun night. My legs started hurting a little bit though. <laughs> you know, some of us can't stand for like eight hours a day and like some of these streamers, you guys are insane. <laughs> but I'm back in VR. I'm going to be doing a lot more VR things whenever I guess I feel like it. <laughs> but yeah, I need to make an avatar. I need to figure out how to make avatars. I want like a, I want a derp like this, but with like a Kyogre outfit. And that's what I want to make, <laughs> but I don't know how, so I'm going to have to learn. I mean, I'm not the greatest artist or 3D model maker in the world, so I have to figure something out. And now I'm, I'm broke. I can't, I can't just be like, hey, dude, make me this. <laughs> I wish I could, but I can't. But a lot of more VR things are coming to the channel, but... Yeah, I'm not sure about VR chat really because I don't really have many people to talk to in VR chat anymore. <laughs> Considering I've been in the hiatus and my friend list has gone like, pew, except for those I've played with like RL stream. I'll say I think DK I can play with, but you know, he's doing his own thing. <laughs> but I'll probably hit him up some now. I mean, we did play a Razzie at one point, but Razzie can't play with us anymore, unfortunately, for a while. Uh, what else? <sighs> I need full body tracking sooner or later. And I know it's a thing because I also want to try that Blade and Sorcerer game. But like I said, I'm broke right now. <laughs> After buying this, I'm broke. And <laughs> gotta wait. Wait until I go back to work and get some more money. But overall, I would say this was definitely a worthy investment. The thing is, Steam with his whole BS of um, taxes now, the Vive isn't exactly just a thousand dollars if you're gonna get the whole pack. It's actually a thousand and ninety-one dollars. <laughs> I'm just saving you a little bit of time before it comes in and you're getting your hopes up that you have enough. It's just saving around a thousand. It's actually at least a thousand and a hundred dollars so yeah keep that in mind Th those taxes are really hurting <laughs> I mean I even bought like the freaking um what was it OVR tool kit which I can use now you guys can't see it since you're all in just VR chat let me turn that off but it helps a lot actually 
and it was worth their investment. That costs like I think twelve dollars, but somehow it just, the taxes end up being like an extra dollar. Like like I'm getting shipping, you know. <laughs> At this point, I'm just like, dude, why am I paying for shipping? <laughs> but just just so you know, it's a thousand or a hundred dollars before you get your hopes up. It's is steam taxes even tax their hardware so yeah <sighs> life sucks man <laughs> but there are vr games that are coming here from my stream i mean i won't be streaming every single vr game sometimes i'll just be recording vr stuff and throwing it up here but if you guys have any VR suggestions, let me know. <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> Hopefully there's some good VR su suggestions or I'll just look in Steam and find something. There's a lot of choices I can go with. <laughs> I already found a few. I need. I know Boneworks is one of them. And I know... There was another one. Oh yeah, Blade and Sorcery is two. And... That's all I know. <laughs> I mean, I could go down the Skyrim route too, so uh, that's that's also a thing. <laughs> but you know, Skyrim mods. I mean, actually, hmm. Good old Nexus can give me some really new lewd mods. I mean, the three of those games I could play. Don't look at me like that. But yeah, that's pretty much all I had to say really really <laughs> but if you guys enjoy go ahead and hit that like button and get ready for some more VR if you guys want more VR content go ahead and hit that sub button do it do it <laughs> please <laughs> I'm begging you but <laughs> anyway see you guys on the next one I, don't, I can't make a peace symbol that's, that's the best I can do <laughs> peace out <laughs> Ah, <sighs> my life is in shambles. <laughs>